Gobekli Tepe, Comet Strike and the Link to the Rise of Civilization. Homeric Origins. Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Please remember to subscribe now for more content on independent research on ancient history, archaeology and other mysteries around the world. Ancient stone carvings confirm how comets struck Earth in 10,950 BC, sparking the rise of civilizations. Ancient stone carvings confirm a comet struck the Earth around 11,000 BC, a devastating event which wiped out woolly mammoths and sparked the rise of civilizations. Experts at the University of Edinburgh analyzed mysterious symbols carved onto stone pillars at Gobekli Tepe in southern Turkey to find out if they could be linked to constellations. The marking suggests that a swarm of comet fragments hit Earth at exactly the same time that a mini ice age struck, changing the entire course of human history. Scientists have speculated for decades that a comet could be behind the sudden fall in the temperature during the period known as the Younger Dryas. But recently, the theory appeared to have been debunked by new dating of meteor craters in North America, where the comet is thought to have struck. However, when engineers studied animal cabins made on a pillar known as a vulture stone at Gobekli Tepe, they discovered that the creatures were actually astronomical symbols which represented constellations and the comets. The idea had been originally put forward by an author, Graham Hancock, in his book Magicians of the Gods. Using a computer program to show where the constellations would have appeared above Turkey thousands of years ago, they were able to pinpoint the comet strike to 10,950 BC. The exact time the younger dryers begin according to the ice core data from Greenland. The younger dryers is viewed as a crucial period for humanity as it roughly coincides with the emergence of agriculture and the first Neolithic civilizations. Before the strike, vast areas of wild wheat and belly had allowed nomadic hunters in the Middle East to establish permanent base camps. But the difficult climate conditions following the impact forced communities to come together and work out new ways of maintaining the crops through watering and selective breeding. Thus, farming began, allowing the rise of the first towns. Edinburgh researchers said the carvings appear to have remained important to the people of Gobekli Tepe for millennia suggesting that the events and cold climate that followed likely had a very serious impact. Dr. Martin Swetman of the University of Edinburgh School of Engineering, who led the research, said, I think this research, along with the recent findings of a widespread platinum anomaly across the North American continent, virtually sealed the case in favor of the Younger Dryas comet impact. Our work serves to reinforce that physical evidence. What is happening here is a process of paradigm change. It appears Gobekli Tepe was among other things an observatory for monitoring the night sky. One of its pillars seemed to have served as a memorial to this devastating event, probably the worst day in history since the end of the Ice Age. Gobekli Tepe is thought to be the world's oldest temple, which dates from around 9000 BC, predating the Stonehenge by around 6000 years. Researchers believe the image were intended as a record of cataclysmic events, and that a further carving showing a headless man may indicate human disaster and extensive loss of life. Symbolism on the pillars also indicate that the long-term changes in Earth's rotational axis was recorded at this time using an early form of writing, and that Gobekli Tepe was an observatory for meteors and comets. The findings also support a theory that Earth is likely to experience periods when comet strikes are more likely, owing to the planet's orbit intersecting orbiting rings of comet fragments in space. But despite the ancient age of the pillars, Dr. Swedman does not believe it is the earliest example of astronomy in the archaeological record. 
many Paleolithic cave paintings, and artifacts with similar animal symbols and other repeated symbols suggest astronomy could be very ancient indeed. If you consider that, according to astronomers, this giant comet probably arrived in the inner solar system some 20 to 30,000 years ago, and it would have been a visible and dominant feature of the night sky, it is hard to see how ancient people could have ignored this given the likely consequences. The research is published in Mediterranean Archaeology and Archaeometry. What is your thoughts? Please drop your view in comment section. And remember to subscribe now for more content on independent research on ancient history, archaeology and other mysteries around the world. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Homeric Origins